Come see the newest ship for Rebels in Star Wars Armada. Spiky bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear, and today we are taking a look at the new expansion out of Armada. Wave 7's here. Rebels got a ship. Imperial's got a ship. Let's talk about the Rebel one right here. This is the Profundity Admiral Radis's flagship at the Battle of, what, Scarif, I think it was, where they were trying to download the Death Star plans and get them to the Rebel fleet. Of course, the prequel to episode four, I guess. I don't even know if those words even match up right there. But either way, it's a it's a great movie in and of itself. And then I guess they named uh, Leia's flagship in the latest movie, episode eight, after Radis. So that would be cool if we ever get it. Uh, what is that, MC-85 or something? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but it will be cool. So this is the site over on FFG. Let's see what they have to say about it. MC-75 Star Cruiser. Boasts an impressive way of weapons, armor, and shields. Come with two ship cards and 14 upgrades featuring Admiral Radis, Jen Urso, and other notable, noticeable characters from Rogue One. $39.95 ship, unlike the larger Star Destroyer, which is $49.95. Let's add the cart. And here it is. It has made it all the way to our door. Thank you, FFG, for sending this to us so we can check it out and share it with everybody here on the channel now. We are not going to spend a whole lot of time on all the upgrades because we got a lot of, a lot of other projects happening here in the studio, uh, some of which are going to be Star Wars very, very soon. So, that being said, let's run through this bad boy, throw it on the hobby bench, and talk about it. And there she blows, the brand new ship. I love the look of this thing all, all the way. I didn't know what it was when we first saw it at uh, that star battle way back a couple years ago at row one. Actually, I say a couple years ago, but really it was only <laughs> only a year ago. So it's gonna come with a ton of upgrades, which we'll talk about here in a second. And the ship itself. Now, unlike the Chimera, which is the flagship of General Thrawn. Oh wow, this one was taped. I wonder why this one's taped. Maybe they're having a problem with those coming apart. Uh, this one here, doesn't come with a bunch of upgrades in order to kind of allow you to retrofit your Imperial fleet a la the Aces kind of type deal out of X-Wing. This is its own ship, so to speak, uh, that isn't going to give you any other upgrades. So maybe we'll see an MC-80 or something like that kind of variety coming out here soon in the next wave. But uh, for now, we're going to get this, which looks... Pretty spectacular. Let's throw it on the stand here. This is kind of weird. Why is it? Oh, did I put it in wrong? I guess I put it in wrong. Rookie mistake. Wait, no? Hmm. Oh, okay. So that's the front. Okay, so I did. Wow, this is going to be weird. This is tripping. This is freaking me out, man. Freaking me out. Okay, so then that goes there. Okay, and then that's the front. Wow. All right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got it. We're good. So there's the front. Front is the front. Port starboard. And we got the aft. Okay, cool. So here it is. Four shields, three shields, three shields. And compare it to the next gen MC80 Star Cruiser. Uh, well, you're going to notice a lot, of, a lot of different things. Now, detail wise, it looks pretty much the same. We just got a gray pattern here over like kind of a beige kind of tight deal there which looks pretty cool now stand wise let's take a look here so arcs are gonna be way crazy different you're gonna have you're gonna obviously your strengths are gonna lie in your broadsides here which are a lot wider as opposed to the star cruiser which was kind of like a mini star destroyer so you know it's front arc abilities right there and all the other shenanigans it can do so this one's getting back to the rebellion's roots of broadsides which makes sense because the ship is traditionally uh, older than these other ships right here so i could kind of see that so we got the armored cruiser and then of course there's going to be another tile for the ordnance cruiser which is going to give you all those great black dice options right there so not a whole lot of red abilities here guess we need to take a closer look at the upgrades so component list wise you can kind of see everything listed out here again with the chaff the raid tokens defense tokens your 14 upgrade cards including your two titles and some 
modification or Moncal Exodus fleet thing. So contain, again, explaining that, multiple icon upgrade cards, chaff, raid, size restricted upgrade cards, like Battle of Ground, I believe is one in this set here, and name restricted title cards, like for the MC class, you can only apply to the MC class, same with Star Destroyer applying only the Star Destroyer in the last one right there. So that's easy enough, I, I would think. Let's take a look at the rest of the cards in here. Well, not quite as much stuff in here as the Chimera, which probably is why it's 10 bucks cheaper, right? So you're gonna get your two ship cards right here, your arcs and everything that we already equipped, that's why it's missing. Then you've got your raid tokens here, one for each command and normal commands right there. Your speed, your three dials, and it looks like from this you're going to get a brace, a redirect, and two contains. Let's take a look at the icons. Um, well, what do we got here? We've got two ordnance over here. I think is pretty interesting 104 to 100 not too much difference besides your ordnance cruiser obviously it has a lot of options when it comes to black dice but notice the lack of red in the front here for the armored cruiser it's going to require you to once again go back to your basics of broadsides and last but certainly not least we've got the 14 upgrade card so first off we got radis and man, he is a G. I love this guy right here. I love everything about this guy. Mark my words, you are going to see this in every Rebel. Well, not every, but a majority of Rebel fleets out there. People are already calling it the Radis Bomb. It is awesome. This gives you the ability to just put something in reserves, bring it in where you need it, in the arc you need it, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Now, there's a lot of combos with this. Just in this expansion that we're going to touch on. Again, we're not going to touch on every card. But man, oh man, I love this guy right here. But you can't take him and take something like Akbar and be doing, you know, the extra dice thing. So, it's kind of 50-50. You're like, you have to hedge your bets. You know what arc you're going to come into. So, now you have to kind of plan... Uh, around that. Bell Organa, I think, is restricted to large ship only. This is the guy that does that. Hey, instead of going second, you get to go first. So it gives you that tactical flexibility um, that we saw with Governor Price, I believe it was, in the Chimera expansion, and then double that with you know the ability to kind of Thrawn's you know flexibility and all sorts of things. Like you can really kind of dig deep and get some grand strategies going with both Thrawn and the Governor, but you can do the same thing with Radis and Bal, because now you know, hey, I might bring this in on this turn, and I've already set this turn, or maybe you just set a decor turn, and you know, you can, oh man, forcing your opponent to make decisions gives you a 50-50 chance they are going to punt that decision, and you can pounce on it and seize the day. Armada is such an awesome game, but it is brutally unforgiving once somebody makes a mistake on either side of the table it's off to the races and those two combos that we just talked about uh definitely could force somebody in to that position uh general draven of course from rogue one itself making his appearance strategic advisor we talked about that in the last uh, video it is so good so so good and now you can hedge your bets even more with strategic advisor i forget which ship can take it because that's the officer slot so you can take it in the armored cruiser and let's see, could you take it? You could take it in both. Um, I don't know if you would, but if you decide to, you can definitely take it in both. That allows you to pass your turn. It's great for large ships because it's going to give you the ability to pass the turn and then hopefully pounce when they activate something insignificant and then allows you to kind of get in a better position or better fire arcs with something that you really, really want to and maybe capitalize on a later activation or the activation you're about to make. These two dudes right here are kind of cool, but I'm not really sure uh, any number of the color of one dice of one color. So you're going to want to make sure that you have multiples. I'm not sure it's the best for this particular ship, but um, you know, with stuff like the Star Cruiser, you've got four blues. Five blues, four blues on the front arc, you know, so you can still really start, or perhaps, you know, one of the, the whale tails, you could take, you get, you can get up to like four reds in an arc. So 
that might be better where it's at but then again it starts displacing other super good cards too like ordinance experts or um you know uh, weapon team or what is it the one where you get an extra die and such but i'm not sure i'm 50 50 on that one jen or so she's gonna lead the raids she's gonna allow you to do those abilities and try to lock down and disrupt your opponent right there so she's pretty cool for four early warming system people are talking about this all day every day heavy ion on placements interesting card uh, i like the slot of it right there but you know obviously we're going fast here you can always just pause the video and just kind of read the stuff to yourself wide area barrage again a great great card but it's going to require you to have you know three or four out there instead of just onesies but it's going to allow you to splash over and get those flotillas and stuff too which is kind of nice uh, ordinance pods interesting card not going to talk about it that much right there sorry folks aspiration again a great title uh, this is interesting. This is another combo within a combo within a combo. It's like combo section with this particular thing here. Because remember, if you're using Radis to bring in a ship and you bring in a sp a sp Aspiration, right? You can automatically know what arc you're going to be in. Boop. Hey, guess what? Hey, if you've always... Oh, I don't have it set on this one. If you've always wondered why there's a six right there, well, now you know. Because assuming this wasn't an MC uh, Star Cruiser, say pretend this was the aspiration well there you go now you, now you know why there's six in the front because you come in you're on station and hey um well it's off to the races hopefully at that point so that gives you kind of an idea um if they do retaliate against you being all up in their grills well guess what you're gonna have at least six shields in the front and that's kind of cool but conversely you might want to think about putting five over here if you're going to do a broadside action uh, which is also very respectable on such a large uh, base right there. So just uh, some stuff to kind of think about when it comes to all these tricks that you can do with these new upgrade cards. And then the profundity itself. Um, this is really interesting card because it allows you to do what it did in a movie. <laughs> How cool is that? It's going to allow you to, again, place another ship into, air quotes, reserve. Uh, something small like would you say a CR 90 <laughs> and again allow you to bring it in and then you can offload either a crew or an officer onto it for whatever reason like maybe maybe you're taking a lot of damage maybe you need to get out of dodge maybe you have I don't know some other thing out there to do but now you can do it and interestingly enough we know this game isn't to scale but here's the profundity and here's the MC 90 and well it doesn't quite fit sorry folks it's not to scale but it would have been cool if it was but then again i feel like the rest of the game wouldn't be as cool because none of that would be to scale and the very last upgrade card here mon calamari exodus fleet again keyed to the mc class of ships you can choose and exhaust another copy of this card on ship at one to four if you do gain two additional engineering points so we always love engineering points because we're always taking damage because a lot of times well that's just how it goes with rebels let's face it but it gives you something uh to kind of fight back with the empire against the empire with so overall i think this is again a great expansion for both the rebels and of course camera for the imperials both of these are must buys if you're playing well if you play both factions i'm sorry you're gonna have to spend some money because these are both awesome and they're really cool because they have so many kind of reciprocating abilities between them all of those combos and things and it's all going to trickle down and change the meta up so drastically i can't remember it being this crazy last summer when the last expansions hit uh, that was the last time i really played uh, a couple of games and it got me going and now seeing all these cards and all these great upgrades on here obviously ffg's doing their you know doing the research getting it in line doing all their quality control and putting out a great product because this stuff rocks like this is this has got me going again like i want to play i want to play i want to play <laughs> what can i play what can i play what can i do with three isds you know let me get let me go get out my whale tails again and start doing some broadside so i'm really really excited uh to see what i can kind of equip and, and get going and, and do all these sort of things i don't know if i take the profundity itself but definitely the upgrades themselves are uh have me very 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 interested to get some ships down on the table and get some uh, get some dice roll in there so that's it for this one if you like these kind of features here on the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on these videos and click on the link below 
Uh, we have a ton of great Armada content over on the site, spikybits.com. Tons and tons of articles on Armada and, of course, X-Wing, even Destiny Dice. If you're into uh, the Star Wars Destiny Dice game, we feature uh, weekly articles on all of three of these games, so make sure you check us out. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.